Hi, I'm Paul Begley. I got a question for you. Has the race war begun? I mean, let's face it. I mean, <laughs> for a long, long time, racial tensions have been all over the world in different parts. And it pops up and it goes in phases. Certainly America has had its share of it. Some of the worst racism ever was right here in this land of the free and the home of the brave. But Civil War's over and the civil rights movements have passed and this is now the truly, America is truly the melting pot of the world where freedom of speech and freedom of religion and freedom of expression and, and freedom of ethnic uh, opportunities. Certainly we've, we've evolved as a nation past many of these things. Perfect? No. But certainly. I mean, look, our president, the 44th president of the United States, is mixed in his own race with a little bit of African and a little bit of white and, and uh, was raised, uh, spent four years in Indonesia and, and, uh, and also much time in Hawaii with some of the uh, folks from that area and that culture. So multi, you know, and so we're living in a different world. But Russia, Russia, it may have started the race war. And I'm going to tell you something. When we talk about the, the New World Order, we talk about the mark of the beast, we talk about the, 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 the tribulation period, we talk about all of these Illuminati and all of the things that's going to take place, you, can't, you cannot sidestep, you cannot turn a blind eye, you cannot ignore the race war that's going to take place across the globe as part of this. Now I'm going to read an article for you. It's from the Associated Press right out of the Kremlin, right out of Moscow. Police will track down and punish the hooligans and the racists who rampaged in Moscow this weekend. As President Dmitry is very upset, he declared a warning that Russia itself could be torn apart if, if the seething, the ethnic tension spin out of control. About 5,000 people, mainly boys and young men, rallied for hours on a square just outside the Kremlin, chanting, Russia for the Russians, Russia for the Russians, meaning they didn't want any other um, racial folks there, any ethnicity. Okay, as well as an obscene slurs against people from Russia's Caucasus region. They brutally beat some dark-skinned passers-by, and when police moved against the demonstrators, rioting broke out and they injured more than 30 people. In addition, one person from Kayakistan was stabbed to death by an un unidentified assailant in southern Moscow earlier today. Resentment is rising among the Slavic Russians over the growing presence in Moscow and elsewhere of people from the Caucasus, the home of the numerous ethnic groups, most of them Muslim. People from other parts of the former Soviet Union, including Central Asia, are facing strong ethnic discrimination in Russia. You know, here we are in the year 2010, and the race war, the race card, to the point of violence, is beginning to demonstrate on the right on the square of the Kremlin. Okay, the latest violence raised fresh doubts about the Russian government's ability to control the rising tide of a xenophobia, which poses a grave threat to Russia. Its existence as a multi-ethnic state. It also embarrassed the Kremlin just days after the uh, World Cup awarded the 2008 World Cup Games to Russia. They're asking their question, will Russia have the ability to safely hold the international sporting events? I mean, can they do it? Or will it be the breeding ground for the, for the race war to uh, reach a peak, a crescendo of murder? Has racism entered so deep into the hearts of the Russian people that they absolutely are blinded by the color of skin? Everything's under control in this country, said the president at Moscow. He wrote this on his Twitter account last uh, Sunday. Oh, that's nice. We will deal with everyone who did filthy things. With everyone. Have no doubts about it. I'm Russian. And red and vodka. And we will deal and they will die, 
So the Russians are upset. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. Despite his pledge, though, others said the slow and bungled police response to the rally on Saturday could embolden the racist groups and trigger more violence. And why was the police slow? Because maybe many of them believe the same way as the protesters. Remember that. Now, the president sternly demanded that police use all necessary force to put down riots. People can and must see the power of the Kremlin. Must understand we will not allow chaos in the streets of Moscow. So, the weekend rally began as a protest against the killing of a fan of the Spartak soccer team who was shot with rubber bullets in a fight at a bus stop last week. Those suspected of killing him are from the Russia's Caucasus region. Some sports fans are linked with the neo-Nazis. Here we go. See, that, that demon won't ever die, man. That demon won't die. That neo-Nazism, it, it made its way from uh, Hitler's Russia, uh, I mean, excuse me, Hitler's Germany into America and the KKK, and now this thing's surfacing where? At the Kremlin. Oh, my. The neo-Nazis and other ultra-nationalist uh, groups which have mushroomed in Russia after the 1991 Soviet collapse. So you see, there's, there's trouble. There's trouble. What's your thought on it? Am I overreacting here? I know you're going to say, Paul, there's been racial killings going on for since the beginning of time, and I agree with that, but, but is there a new rise? Is there a new rise? Is this all part of the rise of the beast? And how does it play its part in there? I'm Paul Begley. Hmm. Hmm.